Hey, yo, what's going on with it once again? Ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls, the one, the only, of course, Mr. Chris is in guys, 2009, aka Nintendo Sony for 2011, and of course, Nintendo, I'm my guy, 360, back again with another video for you guys, brand new content and all that good stuff. As you see in my earlier video on Divergent, and then the other one when I did that rant reaction review about the crazy, like, racist 14-year-old chick or whatever, you know what that means if I'm out here. I'm doing a super rant. <laughs> and my God, ladies and gentlemen, I actually heard about this this morning, but, you know, I had to do my temp work and agency crap, so I didn't have time to do it. So, uh, and it's real cold as hell out here, just in case you can tell I'm wearing my jacket. So, so it's going to be like this till at least March or April, so you'll probably, not until like March or April, you'll probably stop seeing me wear the jacket and just back to my regular t-shirt. Still got the PJs on. <laughs> and uh, you might not be able to take me seriously when I say this. And you can, as you can tell, it's a more high definition. I'm still, still working out the kinks with this iPhone, whatever. It's really super awesome, but... um. I'm still going to be a droid fanboy. <laughs> but anyways, um, it is what it is. Whatever, people. But anyways, without further ado, hopefully we're going to title up above and below. And today I'm talking about freaking Charles Manson getting married to the 26-year-old girl. I think her name was Star Manson. This actually happened about a year ago, how they were going to get their whole marriage and stuff together. It was only rumors. Now this, this shit is fucking real. My question is this. Why in the freaking hell? Why would that even matter? Like, why does this shit even matter, you know? Why does this guy, this piece of extra piece of shit fucking exist? Are you serious? That is fucking crap. Beyond freaking any belief. And I could say it louder, but like, you know, once again, I don't want to wake my neighbors or anything like that because they might be sleeping. So, you know, I don't want to disturb them. But yeah, <sighs> damn. What? Why in God's name would this lady even do this shit? That's fucking insane, bro. Seriously, that's not cool at all, period. <laughs> Yeah, but all due respect, the, the girl's parents must have been freaking smoking crack cocaine or heroin or some type of shit like that because they got to be off their fucking rocker to do some disgusting, exploitating shit like that. Are you out of your damn mind? This people killed like, what, 50, 60,000 freaking people out in California and he had like some cult, demonic, satanic, atheist type of thing like following behind him. And he controlled their minds like insanity. Like, with all this apocalyptic shit, even though I'm into that, but you know. I wouldn't take it literally and start stabbing people in the streets like that like he did in the 1950s and 60s. And this is way before I even existed. Way before my own, own family existed. This is probably when my grandparents were probably like in their 30s or 40s back in the day. They were probably young. So <laughs> this was decades, almost like two centuries, even before my ass was even alive. So that's old this dude is. He's like 80, 81 years old, so he's pretty much an old grandpa. Now, this this racist piece of shit, you can go fuck off. Seriously, to Furthest extent, furthest extent of the edges of the earth kept dropping into Grand Canyon, and I still would have no sympathy for this fucking bastard. Seriously, that's just disgusting beyond belief how he takes advantage of a 26 year old girl. Even though when females are 18 and over, they'll be able to be legal and stuff by them, but still, this shit makes me sick to my goddamn fucking stomach. Seriously, this is not a good look at all. Seriously, people. And all the sick, disgusting rapists and pedophiles out there, all the, oh, they're worshiping, they're cheering them on, they're egging them on and stuff. No, forget that crap. And I'm surprised this hasn't even been talked to talked about on YouTube at all. I mean, because it's brand new information and all that stuff. But, like, um, I haven't even heard Mark Dice or Jersey Smash or Jay Miller or Ty Rohn, the people I'm sub to, not even other people that do current events and rants, not even Faded or Portugal's talked about this yet. That's the thing that blows my mind. Nobody I know that I'm sub subscribed to on YouTube, they haven't talked about this, period. Like, unless they're, you know, they do other different genres, like they do Let's Plays or movie reviews, which I haven't done in a while. I still got to do a movie review. The last one I did was Fury, the one that had Brad Pitt and um, that Mexicano Mexican dude, um, Michael Pena was in there, Shia LaBeouf, you know, well, it's pretty much those guys. But other than that, <laughs> I haven't done nothing like that in a while either. <sighs> um, what else? Um, the Pokemon card open I'm going to be doing, like all the, this is probably going to be the last one I do. I'm still going to talk about Pokemon every now and then, not as much. Oh, and before I keep going on the Super Rant, this has nothing to do at all. I was reading and listening to this fan fiction for the MLP, the My Little Pony thing. Um, I'm probably going to be doing that mostly on the Nintendo Free 2011 channel if you want to check that stuff out. Real good stuff. Extremely emotional. I had to do something with Cyberbullying Awareness Week. Ah, that shit hits me to the core. And I'm going to um, explain why, not in this video, in a separate video on both channels, uh, why that affected me so much. Because I did get bullied as a child. I'm not going to lie. Way back in the days in the 90s, you know. I didn't handle it very well either. But getting back to the point... Back to this piece of extra man shit, Charles fucking Manson, seriously, Charlie Manson, just makes me sick to my stomach to believe this freaking asshole's gonna do that. Just
pretty much corrupt this young woman, even though she's a year older than her. I think she's 26 or 27. But damn, you know, seriously, what the hell? Like, what? who in their right mind would even marry some ex-convict murderer, like, Nazi motherfucker like that, or atheist piece of shit like that, you know? No offense to atheists, because there's some good atheists out there, too. I hang out with a couple of them sometimes, not that many, but a few. Even though I was born and raised Christian and stuff like that, but, you know, other other ones of them, you know, they, they got really good intellectual minds, I'm not going to lie. But then there's the other half that's kind of, like, disgusting and derogatory, you know? I know I use profanity a lot, too, but they use it ten times worse than I do. They, they act like their shit doesn't stink. Some of them, not all. But getting back to my point, let me drink this water, too. It's like 40 degrees out here. Mostly people on the East Coast, probably like 5, 10 degrees. <laughs> it's probably like a billion times more colder for you. The chill zone's probably, chill zone factor's got to be devastating for you people. In the state of Nevada out here in 702, out in Vegas, it's no thing. You know, thank God either, but... Your body gets adapted to it after a couple of years, then it starts getting cold as hell. Yeah, but getting to my point, the last two things I'm going to talk about this guy, I don't know what the hell it is. I'm glad there was like a massive amount of security guards over there, so that way he doesn't escape and start killing motherfuckers again like he did 40, 50, 60 years ago, because I know he has life behind bars, and rightfully fucking so, because I know I wasn't alive when he did all this stuff in the 1950s and 60s, so I wasn't born until years later in 89. <laughs> so this was a while back before I was in even in existence. I didn't exist at all. <laughs> but yeah, um, what was the first thing I wanted to talk about? Like, this guy has a criminal background record, so many effed up crap, so much fucked up shit that he's done in the past. It's unfucking forgivable. I don't even think God could forgive him like that. As much as it hates, it hurts me to say that, that's the fucking truth. That's the first thing I want to get out of the way. And the second thing is, this girl must be in some marijuana shit, like some controlled substances. The drags brought or something that the government, the FBI and shit's probably giving there, or the DA, NSA, all those crazy fucking corrupt governments out there. They're probably giving her all these crazy pharmaceutical, like controlling drugs or whatever, to make her marry this dude. It's either that or she's she's legitimately crazy without the medication and all that crap and mind controlling pharmaceutical company type of medicines that are out there that fucking exist and they fucking corrupt the hell out of people without people even knowing it. But that leads into alternative media stuff. Oh, media, alternative media, excuse me, territory, so I'm not going to talk about that. I'll talk about that in a separate video. And shout out to Make It Electric. He still has a whole bunch of alternative media videos out there. I'll probably scope one out and talk about it, do my little rant on it, you know, about the crazy, corrupt government that controls the whole world, unfortunately. And, yeah, as far as the girl goes, um, she should pretty much break up with his, with his ass because she, it's funny that they say that she claims she had no idea that he did this shit. Are you fucking out of your mind? Are you belligerently that freaking dim-witted and dim, dim, dumbfounded? Very, very, what's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? Very fucking ignorant to believe that he's an innocent guy. You gotta be shitting me. Really, people. I wonder how her parents feel about that. Or if she has any parents or grandparents who ever adopted her. She must have came to some kind of crazy uh, mental facility to do all that crazy shit and, like, to marry this dude. That's insane as hell. Seriously. Anyways, people, that's all I got to say for now. Hope you like this outside vlog. I haven't done one in a while. I might start doing these on my Nintendo Free 2011 channel. But like I always do say is what is ain't what ain't. See you when I see you guys every day. Have a good night. Have it wherever you're at around the world. Don't drink smoke weed at the same time. Don't do anything reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it collective out there. Until then, next time, guys, peace out. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. I will see you in the next future video. Look out for future video contents, all that good shit. And peace out. I'm gone. I'm getting the fuck out of here. And um, you guys take it easy. Stay safe. I will see you in the next one. And and, and rest in peace is that piece of shit fucking Charles Manson. He, he doesn't deserve to breathe the same air I fucking do. Seriously? Lates, I'm gone. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.